Proud Boys can stand back and stand by. I don't know who the Proud Boys are. I mean, you'll have to give me a definition because I really don't know who they are. I can only say they have to stand down, let law enforcement do their work. Law enforcement will do the work more and more as people see how bad this radical liberal Democrat movement is and how weak. The law enforcement's going to come back stronger and stronger. But again, I don't know who Proud Boys are, but whoever they are, they have to stand down, let law enforcement do their work. So, Mr. President, did you misspeak when you said stand by? That's my, my first question. Just stand by. Look, law enforcement will do their work. They're going to stand down. They have to stand down. Everybody, they have to stand. Whatever group you're talking about, let law enforcement do the work. No. Now, Antifa is a real problem because the problem is on the left. And Biden refuses to talk about it. He refuses to issue the words law and order. You saw that last night when he choked up. He can't say the words because he'll lose the rest of the left. So uh, he's got to condemn Antifa. Antifa is a very bad group. So yeah. Mr. President, let me follow up. White supremacists, they clearly love you and support you. Do you welcome them? I want law and order to be a very important part. It's a very important part of my campaign. And when I say that, what I'm talking about is law enforcement has the police have to take care and they should stop defunding the police like they've done in New York, like they've done in New York. I just told you, I've always denounced any form, any form, any form of any of that you have to denounce. But I also, Joe Biden has to say something about Antifa. It's not a philosophy. These are people that hit people over the head with baseball bats. He's got to come out and he's got to be strong and he's got to condemn Antifa. And it's very important that he does it.